Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to share a couple of shaker projects featuring the new Heartfelt Holiday Kit by Queen & Company. I've done a couple videos uh, with kits by Queen & Company and they're so fun. I'm, I'm sort of addicted. And now we have a holiday one. And in the kit, you get all the things you need to make holiday shakers. There's a stamp set. There's three of these foam sheets that make the shakers. There's also the acetate sheets pre-cut. My favorite is probably the shaker toppings and there's eight, I believe eight different shaker toppings and there's little red, green, and white balls, little peppermint twist candies and little stars. Seems like there might be more, more than eight. Anywho, uh, there's also a six by six paper pad, double-sided uh, with the holiday theme, snowflakes, plaids, stripes. And then of course you get the steel dies. There's 23 dies to create a Santa Claus, which is, I'm gonna make first a Santa face. I mean, who doesn't love a Santa face with a shaker beard? Uh, and then I'm gonna make a Noel star. There's also presents, there's an angel, there's a poinsettia, I mean, you, you name it. Christmas iconic images and they shake. Okay, so I'm just following the, there's like a little paper that comes in the kit and you, you know, you kinda can get the lay of the land. But what I'm doing here is die cutting the Santa beard the Santa hat, his face, and his nose and his eyes. So all the parts that you're gonna need are getting die cut right now. It's pretty easy. Makes you look like you know what you're doing. Okay, take this off camera, run it through my die cutting machine, and then I'll show you how this comes together. So here's the Santa hat. I did this out of some bright red cardstock. I believe that's Poppy cardstock by Concord 9th. And then I use some skin, uh, Concord Knight has some new skin tone card stocks, which I love. And I did his face out of that. And then this big white outline is the beard. And then the little cuff for the Santa hat. And here's a big old nose. Thought about doing a pink nose. And then of course the mustache. And then for the eyes, um, Oh, I'm gonna die cut one more white ball using the same die that cuts the nose and the eyes, but I used white and that's the little pom-pom for the Santa hat. You could, you could also do a little pom-pom. And then I just took a black Copic marker and colored those teeny tiny little eyeballs, which I die cut out of that skin color. And then here's the foam beard shaker shape. And here's the foam acetate. I love how everything's pre-cut. And I'm also gonna be using some pattern paper from the pack for the background. I just chose kind of a subtle, what is this, trees uh, pattern. I'm cutting it a little bit smaller than a white card base to have a nice white um, margin around the edge. So I have my card base here out of white cardstock. I'm gonna adhere the pattern paper first using a little tape runner. You could also pop it up with foam tape if you want to. Uh, so see how you now have that nice little white border around the edge. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna just decide where I wanna put my Santa beard and I have a white, the white inner from the die cut. I die cut another one to have the white inner part because I want my shaker filler to be on a white background instead of that green pattern paper. So I put down a white first. That way when it shows through, it'll have a white background. Here's my foam shaker it's double-sided, so there's an adhesive on the back. You just pop it down, and then there's adhesive on the front when I remove that um, backing. What do you call it? Here's all the little fillers. I'm just gonna do white balls since it's a white beard. I didn't wanna add too much color since it is a beard area. And you know, you never know how many to add. When it's all said and done, I kinda always wish I added a few more, but I never want it to be too full. Gotta find that sweet shaker spot. And then popping on the acetate topper and your shaker part is done. It's so easy, it's addictive. And then I'm gonna put a little glue around the edge and finish it off with that top die cut piece. So you have a nice finished looking Santa beard. Hold that down, count to 10. Gives you a little play time to shimmy it around if you need to. And then I'm gonna adhere his face with that skin tone little die cut right there. And then the hat right on top. I'm using some Barely Art glue. 
I didn't put any foam tape behind the hat. It's just adhered. You could put a little foam tape if you want a little extra support, but I didn't feel like it really needed it. I was thinking about adding a little mini white pom-pom to the end of the hat, but I just used the die cut instead. Here's the mustache. And then I already put the, popped the nose up with a little bit of foam tape, gluing the eyeballs right there. And this, <laughs> look how easy this came together. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. You know, you put this thing together, you are going to break out in some Christmas jingles. Guaranteed. Okay. Stamp set included in the kit. I'm going to emboss the sentiment. It says celebrate the season. I'm going to emboss it in white on a little strip of black cardstock. There's a lot of fun sentiments in the set. I wanted something that was pretty simple, like one line, so I could trim it out in a little sentiment strip, pop it down on the bottom, uh, inking this up with Versamark ink a few times, and then pouring on some white embossing powder, and then I'll heat that with a heat gun and trim it out to a little sentiment strip. This card's pretty clean and simple, not a lot going on. You could definitely add more if you want to, more layers, more frames and all that. I am gonna add a little twine after it's all said and done because uh, it just kind of ties in nice. This is a black and white sentiment and I'm gonna add a little black and white twine. It's kind of like matching your belt to your shoes, which I never do because I, I don't even remember the last time I wore a belt or needed a belt. Huh, that's another subject for another day. Okay, celebrate the season. And here's a little black and white twine. And here's my little trick. You know, I learned this years ago from Julie Ebersole. She held together when she was tying a knot, she held together with the little reverse tweezers. It blew my mind. Such a simple little trick, but it helps you to get a nice bow. It really does. Okay. And I feel like that twine just tied in nice with the sentiment, kind of filled in a little space up there on the top corner. And there you have it, a Santa shaker. I mean, Merry Christmas and forget about it. Now, here's another one. I, I just wanted to do one more because you can get on a roll. I wanted to do this Noel star. The thing I like about this one here is you don't really need to add a sentiment because it's kind of like included in the die cut. I'm going to die cut this star out of white cardstock. Um, there is some little innards there. You got to carefully pop out. I'm using my little needle tool. What's this called? The place and pierce wand by Simon's stamp. And then um, I'm going to use a cream card base because I love that neutral on neutral. And here's the little star foam shaker wall. What do you call this? Shape your shaker shape and the acetate. Just love this. It's all been done for you. Uh, I'm going to add an assortment of shaker toppings to this one. Some of these little, they're kind of like light aqua stars, pearly balls, and the little peppermints. The little peppermints stole my heart. So I have a panel here of buttercream cardstock, which I trimmed a little bit smaller to have that nice border on a white card base, adhering it with tape runner. And then we will add our little foam shaker shape. Just going to pop that down. Now this time I didn't put any white die cut behind it. So you're going to see that cream through the shaker, but I was fine with that. I was fine with that here. Now the best part, I mean, if you ask me, this is the best part. Fill in it, little pearly balls, little aqua stars and peppermint little peppermint candies forget about it remove that lining pop on your acetate star and then your shaker's done you feel like a shaker like a shaker sorcerer and then i'm put a little glue on to glue the noel die cut this couldn't be easier I mean, I know you only get three, you get three stars in the kit. I think you can buy a refill pack if you want to get more because this star right here, so easy. And I, I could see myself wanting to make a few of these. And then there's a little, a little tiny bow die in the set. Makes the cutest, the cutest little bow. I decided to do a bright red bow. That's that poppy cardstock from Concord Ninth. 
this comes together so easy. Sometimes I struggle with bow die cuts, uh, but you just, you know, I might've, if I did this again, I might, you know, you got to hold it when you got liquid adhesive, you got to give it a little time. So you got to hold it, but you could also use that skinny, skinny score tape and that will adhere, you know, immediately. A little bit of glue on the back, you wrap that little middle around, which was a little bit longer, so I had to trim off a little excess. And I'm gonna hold this with the tweezers, so that'll secure it all together while the glue dries. You don't have to worry about your bow coming apart. Does that ever happen to anybody? It's happened to me. I do a die cut bow, and I glue it, and then I adhere it to my project, walk away, come back, the whole thing pops, pops apart because the bow wasn't dry and secure. But look at that bow on the top of that Noel star and those little bitty peppermint, peppermint shaker toppings. There you have it, two cards using the Heartfelt Holiday Kit by Queen & Company. Check out their website for more inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.